Hey, ciao! It's me, Leonardo da Vinci. Today I'll do a quick demonstration of drawing on how to use the Da Vinci Eye mobile phone app. It's a helper you draw, eh? Let's get started. Okay, so when you first open it, you'll be greeted by this um, menu screen. And uh, we want to select classic drawing mode today. And then it'll ask you, do you want to select an image from the gallery or from files from your phone? And uh, we're going to choose gallery. And the picture I chose is from a website called uh, thispersondoesnotexist.com. So this website uses uh, artificial intelligence produ to produce a random um, portrait of people using an archive of thousands of uh, images from the internet. Um, I did a video on it here if you want to have a look. Um, is a great source for getting original, um, non-copyright uh, portraits of people if you want to practice. So as you can see, um, the camera is active as well as the image, but the scale of the image is all wrong, and the camera and image are locked together. So let's alter that. So you scale them down so you can see, you click on move, an image. Now the image is not locked to the camera and you can pinch zoom to scale it in and out. So over to the side here I have some pencils. I'm not going to be using those to draw. I'm going to be using them to scale the image um, to my liking. Um, you could also mark uh, the paper very lightly in the at the scale you want. So top of the head there, bottom of the head there, and maybe the side of the face, roughly about there. And now let's uh, scale the image um, to match within those um, parameters. So you pinch zoom, and you can see that it zoom. It doesn't zoom from the center. It kind of scales it from a a strange anchor point a little bit further down. So you need to scale just a little bit and then move it, scale it a little bit, move it, um, just so you can get a bit more control over it. Okay, so I'll, I'll have to align the top and the side of the face here. Now I just want to see, sorry it's off screen, um, the bottom of the head or the bottom of the image I want to a line around there that's kind of okay just about right there all right so now I want to lock the um, image and camera together so once I have my phone aligned just align it to the side of the face there again I can pinch and zoom to my heart's content knowing that the camera and image are now locked together. So if I zoom in, um, the drawing and uh, image are still going to be aligned up together. So as long as we don't move the camera, um, we should be okay. Um, oh yes, one, one last thing. We need to focus the camera. So you can see here, my pencil is out of focus. Uh, click on the camera at the top here and fix focus. And boom, here we go. My pencil's in focus. All right. And then you'll see right at the bottom of the screen here, there's a bottom right that you can click hide. Hides the whole of the uh, user interface there. Gets it out of the way. Okay, so it's realign. And once we've done that, we're ready to start drawing. So in the sake of interest, I've sped up this 20 minute drawing for you, just so that you can see what it's like to draw using the app. I made an in-depth review you can see here. You'll immediately notice that uh, the more you zoom in to the image, the trickier it is to control your drawing. So try not to draw smaller than about A4 size. The more you zoom in, the greater your pencil motions are exaggerated. Secondly, press very lightly when tracing. You should be pressing lightly anyway when sketching. Um, uh, so it's easier to erase errors or to avoid scoring the paper with your pencil point. So when you're tracing round lines like this, using this app or tracing paper, the line weight doesn't matter so much as you'll probably be drawing over them or painting over them eventually as the artwork progresses. What you need to focus on really is what lines help you best to um, further forward your artwork towards a finished piece.
So I think the main thing to take from this video about tracing and using this app in particular is that it shouldn't really look like a finished drawing as of yet, uh, as it needs a lot more work to do, um, which you should do afterwards. But it should be used more as a guide to position and proportion things in the most effective, efficient and quick way possible. So um, important lines are obviously proportions and uh, facial features with the eyes. Um, if you ever need to realign, realign the photo, use the eyes as a guide to help you get things back in alignment. So sometimes you might knock your phone or something out of alignment and just to, just realign it using the eyes. So if this app looks interesting to you, have a look at my uh, in-depth review of this app where in which I go through each of the menu uh, items uh, one by one and uh, give my verdict on it on... Um, whether I think it's any good. So leave a like or a comment below. Um, if you're interested in seeing how to progress uh, the next step onto uh, painting or drawing a portrait. So if you like this video and it helped you, please leave a like and a comment below. It will help Tom with his uh, YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. Ciao.